Xing Yi Chuan is a martial arts system from northern China. Like a lot of Chinese martial arts systems, its origins are somewhat shrouded in myths and legends. Uh, Xing Yi Chuan is known for its distinctive guard posture, San Ti Su, or three body posture, and also for the Wu Xing Chuan, or five phases, or five elements form, as well as a series of animal forms, which are a common element of Chinese systems. My particular lineage of Xing Yi comes from the Hebei region through the line of Master Zhang Zhengfeng, who was from the city of Tianjin. Uh, he emigrated to Taiwan during China's Civil War, where he created the Yi Zong, or Change Sect, uh, teaching a combination of the Xing Yi Chuan, Bakwa Zhang, and Taiji Chuan systems. Among Master Zhang's students was a Taiwanese man named Hong Yi Xiang who later created the Tang Shou Dao School of Chinese Martial Arts. Uh, in 1968, Su Rongchen became a student of Master Hong and rose to prominence as a champion full contact tournament fighter while still a teenager. Early on in his career, Master Su set off down the path of research and development that would eventually culminate in the essence of evolution system as his ideas and understanding of theory and principle developed over the years, he changed and modified the traditional forms he'd learned in accordance with those concepts. I learned the bear and the other forms of Xin Yi Chuan from Master Su while he was living in the Los Angeles area during the early 2000s. I chose to begin my Essence of Evolution video series with an analysis of the bear form for a few reasons. Uh, one, because it's an obscure form. I feel that provides an advantage in presenting it as a platform to demonstrate essence of evolution ideas. Because for most viewers, the analysis of movement in principle will be unburdened by familiarity with the specific form. A second reason for using this form has to do with training resources. Uh, at the time I shot most of this footage, I had access to two different uh, free-hanging heavy bags, and I wanted to present some alternative training methods from what you commonly see with heavy bags. The particular movements of the bear form are well suited to this type of training with that particular object. And I'm going to end this episode with a demonstration of the bear form. And I'll get into analysis and application of essence of evolution theory, beginning with the next episode. In keeping with the tradition of the Tang Shou Dao school, I wore a Japanese style uniform in the demonstration. We're out here in Redwood Park in Oakland, California to shoot some footage for the bear form. Uh, I chose this location because in the days of the indigenous people of this region, the Miwok and the Ohlone, uh, these hills and these forests were home to bears. So that'd be a good location to shoot that form. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. <laughs> 